All right, so if you missed class, we were talking about how using gesture and shape, and gesture is just movement, you can kind of draw anything. So I'm just moving the way that the giraffe is moving here. You can also do this with a picture, but you can kind of see this basic, simple outline of everything. And then I start to include geometric, simple shapes. So I got a triangle, a rectangle. Sorry, the top of that part is a little bit cut off. But as I move down, you can see I'm including all the other simple shapes that kind of form uh, the giraffe's body. So if there's like a little extra, I can overlap, I can draw on top of other things that I'm drawing. You don't have to think of this like putting puzzle pieces together. The reason I'm using that red pencil is because it ends up making it easier to draw on top of later. I'll use a marker later, but if you only have a pencil, all you would do is do your initial shapes really light and then go over it much more dark. So I've got some ovals, some circles, mostly rectangles, triangles, other shapes like that. And as I move through everything, I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss any details. Now, because I'm only using this as a reference, I don't have to make the giraffe look like a giraffe if I want. I can kind of create it as another creature, but I still want to get that basic form of its body down. So I'm putting in its front legs, its hind legs, and as you can see, everything is just simple shapes. Now, I'm going really quickly. Don't feel like you have to go that quickly. Take your time and do what you have to, and you can simplify. It doesn't even have to be an animal. But once I'm done putting all the basic shapes in, and I start out with the gesture, I can go ahead and add more. And if you notice, I'm not going exactly where the shapes are. I'm not tracing. I'm just using that as a reference. So I can change it however I want. And as I go in and finish, I might add, you know, all kinds of crazy details. Maybe this isn't going to be a giraffe. I'll put in some hot rod style flames to look like this animal's hair. So maybe it's a magical creature. And then as I'm finishing up, I just want to make sure I have the whole form of the body and the outline down. And then I'll go in and add extra details. And of course, if you want extra points or if you just want to do it for fun, you can add multiple colors, you can add shading. All we really need now is the basic breakdown of shape and movement. So when we say movement, remember we're not talking about a thing that is moving, we're just talking about how it moves together. How do your muscles, how do these animals' muscles move together to function? And once we have all that, I'll put in those final details of the face, make it a little bit cartoonish. And I'm adding some pattern just for fun. Kind of creating my own creature. And I'll do some of the similar pattern underneath as if it was some kind of animal we've never even seen before. And I can add a little shading if I want, but that's basically it. Thanks.